do 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 Gotta make sure I'm live. Here we are. Nice. Alright. Now that I'm live. More ghost trip time. Uh, if I remember correctly, I did chapters 7 and 8 yesterday. Or not yesterday, uh, last Saturday. Well, honestly, before I begin streaming, I do want to apologize for not streaming yesterday. I was kind of not mentally well, but I'm doing much better today. So, yeah. So I'm going to do the stream. I'm going to do the stream for Ghost Trick today. I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to stick to the whole streaming at every Saturday thing, but yesterday I just yesterday just was not a good day for me. So I do do want to apologize for for that. But without further ado, more Ghost Trick time. Like I was saying, I do believe I did chapters seven and eight last Saturday, so I should be on chapter nine today, so I'll be doing 9 and 10 today. Yep, chapter 9. But, before I begin, let's see, just want to check on something. Just gotta give me a sec, folks. Make sure all my notifications went out. Alright. Looks good. Alright, so like I was saying, uh, chapters 9 and 10 today. But, um... <laughs> Welcome in, Fluff. Yeah, you're here on time today. Chapter 9, 11.13 p.m. Now I'm back in the present and it's completely shrouded in darkness. I can't see it, but I can feel the tension in the air. It's a state of emergency. And that's only natural. With the power failure, all of the cell bars open automatically. Plus, now a death row inmate is loose in the darkness. I did what I promised, Lynn. I stopped the execution. But that condemned... Uh, but, uh, bleh, 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 bleh. but that condemned criminal is now in just as much danger as before. Yeah, I was about to say, if you remember from last stream... We saved uh, Detective Jout from execution. The darkness is thick, but it can also be our friend. Right now, it's what Detective Jout is hiding himself in. I hope the detective is alright in this blackness. I better find him, fast. Come to think of it, he gave me some advice. Head for the spoon, he said. I wonder what that was all about. The detective told me to head for the spoon when I got back to the present, so here I am. The bell, better go back. Fucking sausage head. Ooh, I'm back. Thank goodness someone flushed his toilet. That was all that was good timing. Now to use the cover of darkness to help the detective escape. But first, I have to find him. It's prisoner C-74! Secure the prisoner! Look at Sausage Head. Hmm. Looks like there are hunters in this darkness. I hope they haven't found Detective Jowd.
This is some true darkness. But luckily, darkness doesn't exist in the ghost world. I can make use of that fact to help me find the detective. So yeah, he's not in his cell anymore. Huh? What's that red light? Oh, it's one of them. Hmm. Looks like the hunter's eyes glow red. <laughs> I forgot about him hiding under the bunk. Dude's so big, how the hell is he hiding like that? Doesn't look like the escapee is going to be easy. Or it doesn't look like the escape is going to be easy. Escapee? Yeah, the escapee isn't going to be easy, people. Welcome in, Florida girl and dirtbag. Yeah, it's... It, yeah, it's it's a, it's a Sunday morning stream. Oh, there you are. I was wondering what I was going to do. Are you the one who made that toilet bell ring? That's right. I still had another napkin lying around. Thanks to that, I managed to make it here. But how did how did you know to do that? I learned a few things about your ghost tricks during our time together. They certainly can be very useful powers, but at times, not so much. I knew that if the internal phones weren't working, you'd be trapped in the death chamber area. So I quickly came up with an alternative route. A route that made use of Sausage Head's spoon in my napkin. Wow, this detective is good. I say kick him in the nuts. I can't kick- I, I, I am a ghost, I can't kick anybody. Next time you praise me, go ahead and say it out loud. Anyway, it looks like it's time for our- a bed. It looks like it's time for a strategy meeting. An escape strategy, huh? This could be interesting. Let's do it. So let's make sure we're both clear. The key to my escape is this darkness. Once the basement power supply is restored, escape will be impossible. So we move under cover of darkness, huh? I know I won't have much tr uh, trouble with that. But I'm afraid I won't be able to see. So you'll have to lead the way. Lead the way? Once you find a safe spot for me to move to... I want you to give me a signal. Okay, fine, but how? The dead don't have voices. Even if they did, we have to be quiet. Don't you worry about that. I have an idea. Let's just try it and you'll see what how it works. This detective likes to, uh, likes to just uh, dive right there. Dive right into things, even more than Lynn does. If they find me, I imagine they'll shoot first and ask questions later. But if I die again, we could just start over, right? He says cheerfully. I don't know if you know it or not, but this is a special prison. There aren't any dangerous criminals here, except for me, that is. Yes, I did hear something about it being a special place. Yes, and because of the special status, they're not prepared at all for emergencies. They have four timid security guards at most. I think I saw some hunters lurking in the darkness, though. Those are the guards. They're wearing night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? They're special glasses that let you see in the dark. Very handy things. If I enter their field of vision, it's all over. So it's all about staying out of the guards' line of sight, eh? Make sure you guide me to a safe spot. Okay. Now, about that signal I want you to give me. Oh yeah, how am I supposed to do it? I've already I've already been dead once. I don't know if it's because of that or what, but I can sense your powers now. You, you what? For example, you're in the bunk right now, aren't you? Wow, oh, I'm impressed. I guess you have a sixth sense. I think it's more like a detective sense. Uh, that doesn't sound right somehow. Anyway, the details don't matter. Do you see, uh, do you see this R1 here? Yeah, where'd that come from? Let's use it as our signal. How will that work? If you press R1, I'll sense it. Then I'll move to where you are. For example. Uh, 
If you move to that spoon and press R1, I'll run to that spoon. Simple, right? Alright, fine. Let's start our escape plan. Just make sure you guide me to safe spots, Sissel. So, that red light... That's the light of the night vision goggles one of our, on one of our guards. I can use that light to let me know where the guard is. And if you watch the light closely, you can tell how the guard is moving, too. Very informative in the darkness. Keep a sharp eye out for it. Okay. So now, we gotta help the big boy escape. The guards are on the move, now what? You can get a sense of how the guards are moving by watching the red lights. And I think you already know this, but just in case, if you want if you want to make a take a look around, you can move the screen with the D-pad. Even though I'm actually not using the D-pad, I'm using the analog stick, but okay. Okay, yeah, I have to wait for the guard to come back so I can get on his jacket. Or his uh, bulletproof vest. Yes, he does look like a ball. Okay, he should be coming back. Okay, there he is. This area under the stair stairs is a blind spot for the guards. They won't find him here. This is a safe spot. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot about him. What just happened? Apparently, there was a hunter lurking in the ceiling. Could you do something about him? It's so dark, I can't even see the bullet coming. So what, he dodged the bullet if it wasn't dark? Okay, so we're back at the beginning again. Okay, let's wait for him to turn back around so I can get him back under this bunk. There we go. Okay, here comes our extra little friend here. Okay, so I gotta deal with this asshole. And he fell. So now I think I gotta wait for... Yeah. Now I just gotta wait for both of them to not pay attention, and then I can send Jout under the stairs. Okay, we've already read that. Because I don't... I think he's going back to his spot, but he can't actually go there. Yeah, he's going up the stairs now. And he just, he just fell again. Okay, so now I gotta figure out how to do this. Because he's gonna keep falling...
Shit, I think I'm too high. Can't close this right now. Somebody's falling through. Okay. Now I gotta wait for him. Now I gotta wait for him to fall too. No, okay. That should be good. So he should be good now. He shouldn't go back to his original hiding spot. Yeah, I think he'll just stand there for a little bit. Which is good for me. As soon, as soon as I can do this, all I gotta do now is wait for both of them to not be paying attention, and then I can send Zhao under the stairs. He's up right at the top of the stairs. Good. Okay, next is the stairs. I'll have to avoid these guard those guards somehow. But where should I lead you to? There isn't a safe spot anywhere. We'll just have to wait till the guards go past somewhere on the stairs. Even the craziest spot will do. If, if it's strength you're worried about, I have plenty of that. Can you use that strength to knock the guards out for me? Well, they do say my punches are faster than a speeding bullet. I have my doubts about that, though. Yeah, I guess a punch is no match for a bullet. Okay, so next up is getting in through the stairs. Problem being, now there's two there's still two guards patrolling this area. I don't remember if I was the solution, but I, I just wanted to do that anyway. Thing is, I think that is the solution, I just don't remember how to implement it. A little far, can't really tell where you are. How about somewhere a little closer? Hmm. You got the- Oh, thank you, baby. I know I got this... eventually.
Like I said, it's just all you gotta do is make the guards shoot each other. If it were that simple, yeah. trying to think for a second because I know what I need to do is I need to get him up this upstairs problem is just implementing on how to actually like do it mm -hmm. ooh Okay. Okay, make you fall down. I missed my chance. Yeah, I think I missed my chance. Okay, so I gotta make him pay attention to that. Yeah, make them f make them shoot each other. <laughs> Again, if it, if it were that simple, I would. I think I remember how to do this now. Keyword, I think. Also, yeah, he fell. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> stupid assassin! <laughs> uh, technically, these aren't the assassins, babe. These are just the cops. But close enough. Okay, so now I need to go back here. Okay, they're assassins now. Oh, okay. Let's say so. I gotta keep him near this bell while this dumbass falls. I like that. Now, what I gotta do is go to the can. Because I believe doing what I did to, you know, make him go to the hole and then it should put their, it should put them out of sync. Which means once he's, once he goes past and once he goes past the can, I can have Jowd go up to the can. Oh no, I fucked up. Because now, Jow's gonna get spotted. Can't seem to find the break I need. Then you'll have to make one, try to find a way. Maybe you can try calling, uh, calling me. 
It's all kinds of different places. I'm agreeable, I can go pretty much anywhere. Okay, dude, that's not really helping me, but okay. I don't think this is going to work. A little far. How about somewhere closer? Okay, so let's do this. You want me to climb up into the ceiling? I think I can manage that. But as things stand, I don't have access right now. Could you open the hatch and create an entry point for me? Okay. Ah, there he goes again. Perfect. <laughs> he fucking rolls. I forgot he rolled. Bet you didn't think I could get up here, did you? I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. Anyway, this is a safe spot. It's not much further now. Uh, come on now, don't worry. We're almost there. Now, we have the choice of either trying to sneak out or making a dash for it. I'll leave the route up to you. Okay, so he can't go there. Or there. I keep forgetting that he rolls. That's amazing. <laughs>
There we go. If I move now, I'm going to fall. Could you close the floor hatch for me? Okay, buddy. So... It's a little far, can't tell. How about somewhere a little closer? Hopefully he doesn't see... God damn it. <sighs> Came all that way. We were so close. Right. Once we get to this point, we can either sneak out or make a dash for it. I'll leave the route up to you. I might have mentioned this before, but I can go pretty much anywhere. And I gotta do this again. Yeah, oof. Oof is right, babe. Oof is right. Make you fall because it's funny, and I need to. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Wait for him to fall again. Because again, it's funny. Hi, Grin. Welcome in. God damn it. You're just in time to watch me fail over and over and over and over and over. Puzzles make my brain hurt. When you guys like look at Discord, I took a pic you might like. Okay, yeah. Hang on real quick, peoples. Let me I'm gonna do that real quick. You son of a bitch. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. If you if you want to know what we're talking about, babe, uh, just check the uh, check the requiem of Smeep. I call it from Mango to Monado Boy. You fuck, you son of a bitch. That is fucking perfect. close right now someone's falling through got you on the oh nice i'm on the big screen i feel special
Okay, now I just gotta make this dude fall again and make the other dude get distracted by this. Open that back up so he'll fall. While he's doing that, climb out. Close the hatch again. Get him to run over there. Uh, I feel a little uncomfortable out in the open like this. I bet you do. You're wide open. Well, could you lead me somewhere safe then? The guards can't help me. No, I can't help but notice me when I'm he where I'm now. Yeah, yes, yes. He, you are out in the open. G yes, but I don't remember how to do this. And the worst part is that guards coming. So. <sighs> trying to remember how to do this. God, I've been going for half an hour and I'm still here. I'm still on this fucking chapter. <laughs> this... Thank you, Tiki. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't believe in me, but you and Fluff do, and that's all. I, I, yeah, <laughs> at least, at least some people do. I don't, <laughs> I don't believe in myself at all. Time to make you fall again. Goodbye. I may be failing miserably at this. But, it's still amusing to watch that cop just fall over and over. Distract you. I think I distracted him a little too late. No, we're good. I'll have Jod climb up. Never mind. <laughs> this is going to drive me insane. I'm slowly losing my mind. Worst part is, this is one of the fucking puzzles that stumped me for a long time the first time I played this. Fall again because I'm getting annoyed by you. Okay, he'll be distracted. Never mind. I'm losing my mind. Look, now I'm now I'm struggling just to get him back into the ceiling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. 
me. So, okay, now he should be looking at the hole, so now Jowd can go a little faster, buddy. You son of a bitch! <laughs> uh, this is driving me insane. That's pretty bad when it's the when it's the when it's the non death averting puzzles that give me the problem. Fall again, because it's funny to watch you fall. Sorry, baby, but how did you do it before? I don't know! <laughs> I am slowly <laughs> losing my mind here. There we go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. No, I should be good. He should be able to climb out. Oh, he just rolls. Never mind. Goodbye, asshole. a tough one. But anyway, I think you'd better uh, open the hatch to create an exit point for me first. Can't think of the... Okay. Get you under the bed. Oh, we're good. So what do you think? I'd say if we've come this far, we did it. Great job, Sizzle. The basement generator has been repaired, restoring power to all areas. Area, areas. Run, you motherfucker! Run! Woo! We just made it. But the question is, what now? I don't have anywhere to go, do I? Maybe I'll go back to my cell. <laughs> you better be kidding. But I'm still a condemned criminal, you know. I doubt anybody's welcome. Uh, well, <laughs> I doubt anybody would welcome me with open arms. Why don't you try contacting Lynn? She went to see some justice minister guy. So an escaped death row convict is supposed to just report in to the justice minister, is that it? Hmm. I kinda like that. Anyway, after all the trouble you went through, I guess I'd better run. That would be nice, yes. Alright, Sissel. Until we meet again. So now I've saved a condemned criminal's life and helped him escape. Was that really the right thing to do? I guess all I can do is believe in Lin at this point. Detective Jowd was painting my picture in his cell. He knows me. I'm sure I'll be talking to him again.
But Detective Jowd's until we meet again came around quicker than I expected. When I got back to the guard room, the next fateful uh the next fateful call came in. Hello, this is Sissel, are you there? Hello, who's this? Oh, I'm not talking to you, officer. Anyway, if you're there, Sissel, come here immediately. I'll be waiting for you. If you make it in time, that is. Hey, wait a minute! That call, who was it from? I don't know, some weird call. Ah, but who? We'll call an in to my dance. Call an to my dancing. Just stop, dude. Yeah, well, once you get going like that, I'm not gonna stop you. It's a contest then. Which will stop first, my dancing or the turning of the planet? Yeah, good luck with that. On the other end of the telephone line, the scene that greets me tells me one simple fact. That our great escape plan has ended in failure. Never expected to see you here, Cap uh, Inspector Cabanella. I believe that's my line, my old friend. What are you doing here? I believe that's my line too, clearly. I came to attend your execution. They told me that uh, they told me what time it was. Couldn't get into the chamber, so I was observing a moment of silence here. And when I looked up, my eyes full of tears, there you were. It's just the way things turned out. I took part in what seemed like a fun game, and here I am. Here's what I wish, my old friend. Wish it was anybody but me who found you here. Because now that I've found you, man, I have to turn you in. You have to stay spotlessly clean, after all. Thanks for coming. I wanted to say goodbye to you. As you can see, I guess I'm not going to be much help to you. What's going to happen to you? Being executed tonight is just about the only thing, uh, the only thing on my schedule, it seems. Executed, huh? Death is pretty much meaningless to me. Anyway, I guess we'll be seeing each other again. By the way, there's something I'm looking for. Oh, that's right, your lost memory. You know things I'd like to know. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? And refer to it for tonight's fun little game? Is that it? Yay, he's safe! Yeah, uh, sure. I saw it, you know. That picture you were painting in your cell tonight, that was me. Which means you must know me. I'm very sorry, but... Yeah, for now. I can't talk to you about that now. What? Why not? Because I... I don't know your true face. My true face? I'm a detective. I can only talk about what I'm sure of. However... I can give you one lead, at least. A lead? What is it? A long time ago, I gave Lin something to hold on to for me. It was a music box. If you ever come across it, I advise you to open it. It might jog your memory. That wooden box I found in Lin's apartment. And that's the only help I can give you right now. That man pointing the gun at you right now, they say he's your good friend. We were, when we were in the detective division together. That was a long time ago. Now he's the head of the special investigation unit, the top of the elite. Getting ahead is the only thing he thinks about now. 
And that white coat of his is the symbol of his determination. His white coat? For somebody looking to get promoted to the top, what's the one thing they're afraid of the most? A blot on their record, of course. Like a stain on a pure white coat. Who would promote a man with a coat covered in stains? If it was me, I'd go back. I'd go with a black coat that didn't show the stains. The world is full of excellent candidates. Even one mistake could be the end of a career. But everybody, everybody makes mistakes, right? Nevertheless, Cavanella has chosen the path of the white coat, and he'd do anything, anything at all, to hide his coat's shadows. Like send his good friend to the gallows. Because that's the right thing to do. I'm a condemned criminal, after all. And that's why he has that gun pointed at me right now. Is your, is your execution really the right thing to do? I had a fair trial, and that's what was decided. No problem there. But still. This is the punishment that I should receive. In order to bring a final close to the case and put it to rest forever... Lynn believes you're innocent. She's running around right now, trying to prove it. Is that all you have to leave her with? No problem there. I... I was sentenced to the death uh, for, to the death penalty for killing my wife, Alma. But to me, that's not all it was for. What do you mean, that's not all it was for? I'm talking about something that happened even before this case. I stole somebody else's life. What? It was ten years ago. I'll never forget it. That day, I saved the little the life of a little girl, and I stole away the life of a man. Ten years ago, the life of a little girl. Could that little girl be Lynn? She told you about that? Yeah, she did. You were. Uh, she said you were her hero. Now just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. Ten years ago, in a certain park, a little girl was taken hostage. It was still- uh, bleh. I was still young then, I didn't have any self-control. I remember asking myself at the time, Jowd, are you going to shoot this guy? And this is what I answered. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot. My hand was shaking a little. If my hand slipped, the man might die. Even the little hostage girl was in danger. Nevertheless, that was my answer. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. And the man died. That took his life. Lynn was never told the outcome. She was so young at the time. I don't deserve to be called a hero. What I deserve is... Execution. Ready to go? My arms are getting tired. You got it, baby. Time for the big show of hauling you in. Oh, that's right. Just let me make one last phone call. That's a big favor to ask so casually, my old friend. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pretend I'm not watching. I'll be listening, though. On that, you can rely. Sissel, you've got your own path to follow. You'd better hurry. My own path? Lynn is at the Justice Minister's office right now, right? It might not be a bad idea to say my final farewell to him, too. Hello, everything's fine here. Is this the chicken kitchen? I'd like to request a delivery. Um, the chicken kitchen is next door. Goodbye. Hmm. It sounds like she's in some kind of trouble. It does, doesn't it? Go help her out, would you, Sissel? Sorry to keep you waiting, Inspector. Ready to go? 
Oh, before I forget... I have a little something for you. A present, if you will. There's nothing else like it, baby. If there's nothing else like it, don't throw it. What's this, a pocket watch? Considering my situation, it's the last thing in the world I need right now. Forgive me, man. Let's just say I'm no good at choosing presents. This is it, Sissel. Let me just leave you with one thing. Don't trust other people's memories. Look for what you seek with your own eyes. I'll remember that. Sissel will remember this. And he's just gonna saunter on off like he's... I, I can't stand him. They're gone. There's nothing left here. No hope and no cores either. Without any cores, I can't follow after them. This is the end of my adventure. I feel pretty dejected, but I guess I'd better go find Lin. <laughs> yeah, Sissel. I'll follow the path Detective Jod pointed out to me. The path to the Justice Minister's office, where Lin went to try and stop the execution. And that's Chapter 9 done. Now on to Chapter 10. Chapter 10, 11.41 p.m. Now that, my, now that my assignment to stop the execution had ended in such an unsatisfactory way, I decided to go see Lin at the Justice Minister's office. Detective Jout's story about this other murder weighs on me heavily. Should I tell Lin about it? I just don't know. This time, Lin isn't dead, but the atmosphere makes me think it might be too soon to count my blessings just yet. I'm glad Lin isn't dead, but what in the world is she doing? Then again, do I really want to know? What kind of greeting is that? I mean, I know I'm a ghost and everything, but... Well, and how did it go? Was Detective Jout still alive? He'd already been executed by the time I got there. I did manage to save him, but... You did? Oh, I'm so glad. Wait a minute. Did you say but? She, wa she swapped places with Missile. <laughs> yeah! I told Lin about my adventure at the prison. About the other murder, though. I couldn't bring myself to tell her. Inspector Cabanella arrested Detective Jowd. I can't believe it! Yeah, I feel the same way. I can't believe that whatever, that wherever I go, somebody's always dead, either you or someone else. Sorry about that. So, who is that lying on the floor there? Oh, you noticed, you noticed him, did you? That's the Justice Minister. The man who signed the order to carry out Detective Jowd's execution. He was already dead when I got here. Shouldn't you have called for help in that case? Hmm, I guess so. But I'm wanted, remember? For murder? I was hoping we could save him without me getting caught. We, uh, oh boy. Hey, can you hear me? Hmm. He's dead, but still seems to be unconscious. Could you rescue him now, while he's still unconscious? Instead of talking to him, I bet it'll be faster just to see for yourself what really happened. Yeah, I bet you're right. Back we go, then, to four minutes before his death. Four minutes before death.
Emma! Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm not yelling. I'll do as you say. This is terrible. This dude's hair is terrible. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That's how he dies. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. He worked himself up. Oh, that poor guy. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't be laughing, but oh my god, I forgot about it. Oh god, I forgot he works himself up to death. He died of a heart attack. <laughs> Of heartbreak. <laughs> oh, shit. And dead. You know, at least this is the first time that someone has died in this of natural causes, not because someone got shot or smushed. Such a foolish man. Oh, you woke up? He's a contradiction. Contradiction? The more we search for the truth, the further into a dilemma we fall. The world of men is steeped in contradictions. If we choose this, we can't have that. If a man tries to have his medicine bottle and water pitcher too, he loses both. Oh, I don't know. To me, it looks like you could have had both of those things just now. He didn't know the truth about the world. That's why he died. Such a foolish man. Or maybe I should say a pathetic man. That's more fit. That's the more fitting word. Uh, I don't think this guy gets it yet. That the foolish and pathetic man is him. Is that what they call a contradiction? By the way, what's your name? Just call me a seeker of truth. Okay, dude, try to be edgy. Sidestep that one, didn't he? Forgive me for calling so late, Mr. Minister. Who is this? How did you get this number? We have your daughter. Who, who is this? Emil's tutor? What a tutor call you at this hour? N no. I'll say it one more time. We have your daughter. N my daughter? Is she alright? Tell me she's alright. Here for yourself. What do you want? What are your demands? I believe we already made our demand known the other day. Oh, so it was you. And have you complied? Has the execution been carried out? Uh, I didn't do it because of your demand. I did it because that's my job. Yes, yes, of course. They should be contacting me any minute now with confirmation. There's no need for this kidnapping. We're very thorough. You do well to remember that. Uh, and of course, it goes without saying, we're watching you. If this information leaves that room, you'll never see your daughter again. I trust you understand that. Don't tell the police, is that it? Exactly. All you have to do is your job. Alright, I'll do what you I'll do as you say. I'll make sure the execution is carried out tonight. You have my word. First, we'll go there and see if this solves the issue. If not, then we'll stick that. We'll have to go back and stick there. I 
apparently the police in this country aren't so easily fooled. I had no idea word of tonight's deal had leaked. Luckily, I managed to arrange it so that the Justice Minister could hear her voice. But what's taking the goods so long to arrive? I'm starting to get concerned. Okay. Uh-oh. This woman is, doesn't show any signs of moving from the spot. And I can't use the telephone line either. Hmm. Looks like it fell into a trap. All women are like traps. Some are sweet traps, others are bitter. Don't you understand that? Okay. Anyway, I think I'd better rethink things here. Can't use the phone. Like I said, all women are like traps. Then, then this are hardly related. Anyway, when in the past, I can only use the line when the phone is being used to make a call. Yeah, I don't think I could... Yeah, I messed up on coming back here. Because I can't get anywhere, because she's not moving. She has no plans on moving, as far as I'm aware. So... Let's go back to the beginning. Okay, so what we'll do is skip through this call and we'll stay here this time and see what that where that leads us. Okay, we'll stay here this time. And now we'll wait for the second call to come in. The kidnapping, eh? Once again, I'm not sure I know what the word means, but it's apparently the cause of the minister's attack. Such a useless man. Huh? A useless man caught up in a useless case. Why doesn't he understand that? Anyway, we only have four minutes here. I better do something about that medicine. I have to call my wife. I have to see if it's true. Maybe they called the maybe they called the wrong person. The minister doesn't accept the truth easily. He's morally bankrupt. Okay, now you're taking it too far. His wife won't answer for some reason. Hmm. Wife that doesn't answer her phone. I think I know who that is. Morally bankrupt man deserves a morally bankrupt wife. Why doesn't that man understand that? Now I'm sorry I ever brought this guy along. No use, line isn't working. Apparently, if it only works out the other side. Okay, if the other... Okay, so... Yeah, so I can't just do what I was hoping I could have done there. down. Yeah, there he goes with his freak out. Yeah, he's about to die. I could do uh, too bad he knocks this picture on the floor at the end of his four minutes. Such a stupid man. Huh? Once water is spilled, there's no getting it back. And knowing this full well, why do people still spill water pitchers? I don't know. Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. 
Oh, here it comes. His worry and anxiety have reached their peak. Such a disgraceful man. Huh? If one lives his life in fits, he's bound to be plagued by fits. It's so simple. Why doesn't he understand? Tulipi. Yeah, I, yeah, that's what I was thinking of, but since she didn't answer the phone, I can't just use the phone to get back to, to get to her. But there wasn't a chance to rescue him before now. It's not over yet, though. We can't give up now. Maybe if I flap this at him. Wait a minute. Don't go. Knock it over yet. Get, get in there. Yay! That did absolutely nothing. Yep. Silly old man. <laughs> Back to the beginning. Okay, so basically, I gotta figure something out. Okay, he's about to have his fit. Medicine. Don't remember if this is how you're supposed to do this. Don't. Nope. Absolutely nothing. Okay, I know what I need to do. Sadly, I still need to. I have to. This is one of those ones where I have to. You have to do it like within the last three seconds of his life. So this is gonna be annoying. So this medicine stops the minister's attacks. Hey, if I could, I'd spill them onto his desk right now. But unfortunately, he came and opened the cap. What a shabby excuse of a man. Huh? He wears his important-looking uniform and sits working at his stately desk. But that does not... Uh, but what... Blah, 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 but what does he have inside? Nothing. A miserable, shabby excuse of a man. I think you've already said quite enough. There he goes. There is there goes his heart attack again. He's gonna knock the medicine over. Dink dunk. There goes the medicine.
I remember fucking hating this one. Now I remember why I hate this one. Let's see. Can't use the phone lines right now. What a fitting room for this man. Huh. Looks stately, but it's filled with nothing but useless trash. When in the past I can only blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm not do that. Thing is, going back to the beginning just goes back to the phone call. Well, right before, right after the phone call. So I had, so it had the answer is here. Oh, is he? Oh, okay, no, never mind. I was about to say, is he freaking out yet? Now he is. have to get this medicine to the minister, but hmm, there's only a few seconds left. It isn't enough time. Such a short-sighted man. Huh? Happiness escapes us just as we are about to pull, pull it in. We have to grab it while we can. Not only happiness, but dreams, love, and hope, too. Clearly, someone here is overly naive. Anyway, there isn't enough time to do anything in this state. I think I'd better rethink this from the beginning. If he could just get some of that water, he might feel a little better. Did he just say something about- did he just say something constructive? Okay, so... water. Yeah, the thing is though, it's not giving me- it's not putting me right where I need to. It's putting me back here. If only I could at least drink some of this water. Too bad he knocks the pitcher. Such a stupid man, huh? Large build, nose blah blah blah, yeah. There we go. There, that should help. At least now he's had some water. He's still breathing, apparently. Whoever made the music in this game needs a raise. Yeah, I fucking love the music of this game. Like I said, there are two specific songs that I that I really fucking love that I can't wait for you to hear. But it looks far from recovered, unfortunately. Such a wishy-washy man, huh? He can't make up his mind whether to live or die. That's why. That's how he lives his life. Okay. At least now I thought of uh, bought some time to get his medicine to him. The question is, how do I get to the medicine bottle now? Never seen anybody drink water the way this man just did. The water pitcher is completely empty. He's an empty vessel of a man. Huh? An empty, withered man. Where is his oasis? This guy's really starting to get on my nerves. The minister's fate has changed, but the situation still seems the same. I can't move anywhere now. Did I miss something? I think I saw a path for just a second while the minister was drinking the water. Maybe I should start over from the beginning. Okay, yeah. Me too, Sizzle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this guy's starting to piss me off too, but I need I now I know what I need to do. As soon as I get the jug to uh, as soon as I get the jug to stop. Uh, stop uh, rocking back and forth. 
I need to quickly hop to the jug so I can hop up to the fan while he's drinking. The game did say at the beginning that sometimes the sometimes the path forward becomes clear after watching the death. There, that should help. Okay, I don't need to read that again since I've already read it. I'm still breathing, blah blah blah, wishy washy, uh huh, yeah, uh huh. There. Spin that. So as soon as that paper gets closer. Now I've got the time to get the medicine to. Next, okay, next, okay, okay, time for the next step. Now about this medicine bottle. If the minister is going to make a full recovery, I have to deliver this thing to him. How is a ghost with no hands and or feet supposed to do that? Guess I'll just have to use my head instead. Okay, so let's observe the room. <laughs> okay. Forgot I had to turn it around. is pretty light. Once an earner is dropped, there's no getting it back. I guess I better think carefully about what I drop and when. Pretty tight, it's a pretty light frame for its size. There sure are a lot of things that can fall down in this room. He's a fallen man, huh? He deserves to have everything come tumbling down over his on his head. I don't know about fallen man, but you talk about him like he's your fall guy. I guess the key here is the is what order the objects have dropped in. So close. If the swing just had just had a little more reach to it, I think I'd better look for something else. I know I need to roll this onto that to hit the medicine, okay. 
I'm just vibing to the music. I believe it, babe. I told you, I, I love the music in this game. a lot heavier than it looks. It's made out of some pretty thick iron. I wouldn't want to drop that on my foot, but I don't have feet, so I guess I don't have to worry. Okay, so yeah, that's not what I need to do either. That over. Drop that down. This round. Drop this one down. That again. This. That. Jumping Poltergeist challenge cleared. Perfect. And... Donk! That's all- <laughs> He fucking drunk the entire bottle, holy shit! There, the minister finally took his medicine. I think he may have even took too much medicine. Such a greedy man. He's supposed to take two capsules with water. Why doesn't he know that? Oh, cut the guy some slack. There, see? Da -da -da. Cleared the too much medicine challenge. Ooh, that was a lot of work. Well, hopefully this taught him a lesson. Huh? He greatly underestimated his de uh, dependence on his medicine. I hope he learned something from this experience. First, know yourself. That is the key to everything. I think you need to listen to your own advice. Anyway, let's go back to the world of the present. I knew he was <laughs> the brand new chef in disguise. <laughs> yeah. yeah, same uh, same voice, same uh, song, yeah. 
And so the Justice Minister is now back to life, but the uh, but the furrows on his brow are even deeper now. And apparently, Our Lady Detective is the present cause of those furrows. Because of course she is. Look, Detective. He was sentenced after a fair trial, and the man himself wants to be executed. But there was no evidence. All they had to do, all they had was his own confession. But it was it was no ordinary confession. It was the confession of an esteemed detective. Stay back! I told you I don't want anybody coming near me. Mr. Minister, please listen to me. I might be able to gather new evidence in that case tonight. What? So please, please, just give me a little more time. I just got a call from the prison. Your death row convict apparently just escaped. Unfortunately, after all this time, it seems he now wants to dodge his punishment. But, but when he's apprehended, his sentence will be carried out tonight. No. But when the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty. So why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, I... I was simply performing my duty as Justice Minister. That's all there is to it. Lynn looks like she's about to rip into the Justice Minister. I think she's forgotten all about me. I think I'll send her a little signal. Sissel, there you are. Sounds like the minister is being very stubborn. That's right, he is. Maybe we shouldn't have saved him after all. <laughs> the minister has has to have the execution carried out tonight. And he has a very good reason for it. A good reason. I told Lynn about uh ba -ba -ba. I told Lynn what I had learned about the kidnapping. K kidnapping? They kidnapped the justice minister's daughter? Apparently. My goodness. I wonder if the Justice Minister actually hears her, like, talking to herself, because he can't hear Sissel. I mean, he... no, nah, no, nah, I don't think he could. He, maybe. I did save him, so maybe? But still. That's still no reason to hurry forward with the execution. Why don't you go ahead and say that to the Justice Minister, then? Hmm. Poor man, I hate to do that to him. Oh, by the way... Do you think you could carry me? Oh, right, sure. Not very handy, is it? Having the legs. What are you going to do with that globe? Crack me in the head with it. Oh, this? Er... Uh, <laughs> pay no attention to this. It's kind of hard not to pay attention to it. By the way, and please pardon me if this is a silly question, were you talking to somebody just now? But of course not, right? I mean, there's no such thing as, as ghosts, right? Are you talking about me? No, there is no such thing! This is a dream! There is a, It's nothing but a dream! Don't you remember me? My dream is talking to me! Hmm. So now I'm a dream, eh? Mr. Minister? We know. We know about your daughter. She was kidnapped, wasn't she? And if the execution doesn't take place tonight, you won't see her again. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do? Death row prisoner has escaped. If he isn't executed tonight, my daughter, my Emil. But what if the execution isn't the right thing to do? Come on, Lynn. 
If you keep pressing him like that, he's gonna die again. What can I do then? We have to do something about that kidnapping. Until we do that, it'll be impossible to get the Minister on our side. That's the way I see it. I think I'll start by gathering info on the kidnapping. In the only way I know how. We meet again, Mr. Minister. What? I've never seen you before. In any case, I'm a very busy man. If you're a dream, please don't bother me when I'm awake. Uh, I'm not a dream. Looks like it's just a waste. Looks like it's just a waste of time trying to talk to this guy. I think you're right, stubborn justice minister. Please stop speaking ill of me inside my own head. Gabe says, "Hey, we'll tell him I said hey." I really should pay the kidnapper's hideout a visit. After all, if we want uh, the Justice Minister to come around, we have to solve this problem first. I feel like I'm slowly moving away from my own mystery, but I'm not the kind of guy who can abandon a little lady in trouble, so I guess I'm in this for a little while longer. He's probably watching me. Uh, yeah, pro yeah, probably. We got you on the 75-inch TV in the living room, so he's here. Oh! Well, I hope you were. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, because th this is this is the end of the stream. That was that was my two chapters for the for the day. So, before I sign off, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Florida girl, dirtbag, of course, Tiki, and of course, the one and only. Fluff, my baby. Yeah, I, I, th I told y'all I'm keeping it strictly two chapters per stream. Considering, you know, considering there's 18 chapters, that means, you know, I will still get, we still have plenty, we still have plenty of streams to go, don't worry. We ended up chapter 10, we've still got, still got four streams left of this, we got it, don't, just, get, give me some time, man. This music, though, yeah, I, I told you the music in this game is great. Let me listen to it for a little bit. Dirtbag says he wants can't do the bad decision. <laughs> uh, I'd be down for that under normal circumstances, but I'm trying to focus solely on this for now, and then I'm taking a couple month break from streaming before I come back uh, before I come back um, in October for my spoop my spoop my spoop streams and just a word just a little heads up one of the games I will be playing in October is very not friend kid friendly so viewer discretion is heavily heavily advised for that one. But yeah, uh, which game? Um, it's gonna it's gonna be Corpse Party. If you've never heard of it, don't look anything up because the sh you need you you need to just witness the shock for yourself. But um, anyway, that's it for the stream. I like I said, I want to thank everybody for showing up. You know, Florida Girl, Dirtbag, Tiki. And of course, the one, the only, my love, Demonic Fluffy Puff. And I want to send a special shout out to Gabe for being here to watch. I need to play Faz sometime. Yeah, we. Yeah, I, I need to get some more. I need to get some people to play Faz with. And Fluff says she'll also be going back to streaming too. So, you know, y'all need to check her out too. Her streams are really cozy. Anywho, that's it for now. Bye-bye, everybody.